Ellie Bierman, I thought you might like to know just exactly why people call me the queen of overcoming. You see, I overcame not just one, but two brain injuries that caused the kind of damage in my body that I had the doctor saying, learn to live with it. This is as good as it gets. Well, that wasn't good enough for me to want to go on living. So the first time I had the brain injury, it took me three years, but I did recover. So I got back the short-term memory that had kept me from being able to have conversations. I got back the ability to use my eyes. Even though my hearing had become so sharp, I could hear air passing or not passing as I walked along with my eyes closed and could tell if I was passing by a tree, a car, a building. Anyway, with the brain tumor that happened, I woke up unable to speak, unable to swallow, unable to walk. Well, it isn't easy, because right now what I have to go through to talk with you, I have to consciously do all these things that my body used to do all by itself. For instance, with a paralyzed vocal cord, more than half my tongue, part of my mouth, I feel like there's an enormous pillow inside of my mouth. And in order for me to talk with you, I have to start down at my diaphragm, I have to tell my body, put up enough air to get through my speech box, through my mouth, and avoid chomping on my tongue and moving the part of my lips that I can move so I can speak clearly. You can hear me and you can understand me. Oh, but it gets even more fun than that. Didn't Helen Keller say, life is either an adventure or it's nothing? Do you know that we have swallow muscles? Well, you probably never thought of it before. For me, when I put something in my mouth, I have to think, okay, glass of water, we're swallowing clear fluid. I have to do all this and prepare my body, otherwise I'll choke. If I'm putting in something a little drier like meat, and it doesn't matter how much gravy it's in, or chicken, or raw vegetables, which would include salad, I have to program my body and say, okay, something coming down now that takes a whole lot of work to chew. And I don't actually swallow it. It kind of goes down and sits here. And I have to intentionally use muscles to go swallow, swallow, swallow until it rolls off of here and down. Because again, otherwise, I will choke. And sometimes I have to intentionally choke to move the food up so it can reform itself into something I can swallow. You see, I made a mistake a few months ago of biting into a grape and programming myself for, okay, piece of raw fruit. In other words, I was programming for fruit, for salad. But when I jumped into it, this juice went squirting out, wasn't prepared for liquid, right? And I choked something really awful. So, all the things I used to get to take for granted, when I come, I'm walking along, I come to a curb, I have to step up or down. I'm running all these computer programs in my head saying, okay, which leg is strong enough to take the step up? Which leg can handle my body weight while the other leg's moving? And boy, if I have to go up or down a flight of steps, I can look up to see the top. I have to look at one step at a time and make that decision with each step which leg can handle it, which leg can support my weight while the other's moving. Put all of that together with the fact that there's a fluid sac where the tumor used to be that has me being really, really dizzy all the time. So when I'm with you, you can't tell that I'm going through any of that, right? Because I made a choice. I made a choice not just to survive but to thrive. Because healing isn't about being the way I used to be. Healing's accepting me just the way I am now. I'm figuring out what to do to go on with my life as I am. Yeah, it takes a whole lot more work than it used to. And yeah, there are days when I can't do much of anything. But there are days when I can get in a few really good hours. And that's why I'm here doing what I do, because you don't have to have a traumatic injury 
to have obstacles that are keeping you from living the life you want. Contact me and we'll make sure together to move you through. Because going over or under or around those obstacles doesn't get rid of them. They'll reappear. But let's just move you straight through them so they'll never bother you again.